Lachlan, let's get to discussion time. And because we are talking about fingernails, uh, I want to talk about this. Lachlan, what's your favorite body part? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's <laughs> not actually uh, something. But uh, something that is featured in the film is obviously in fingernails. You got to get the fingernail to see if you're a match with someone else. If there's like love between the two of you and um that's something that particularly makes me really squeezy i'll get into that in a second but i was wondering is there anything in films uh, in movies when you're like sitting in the theater and there's something that's happening that like you have to shift around in your seat and you get really uncomfortable and queasy no not like no. a set thing um yeah. i don't get that uncomfortable in fact i yeah. i find this funny but i thrive on uncomfortable on, on being mm. uncomfortable and I like putting myself in uncomfortable situations and that, and that, yeah. and I get a kick out of that. So yeah. no, but I can give you maybe like a couple of examples. Of, yeah. Yeah. Um, Please. When I have felt a bit, oof. uh, there have been a couple of, um, especially in the, the more recent John Wick films where there has been like a, a way that John Wick has creatively killed somebody that's made me mm -hmm. go, Oh, like, Ow, that would have hurt. But yeah, yeah. The only other thing that could that I I remember, like physically feeling ill, is in Nope when the people are swallowed are by the ship. Yeah, oh, that yeah. made me feel. And I don't get claustrophobic, but I felt mm -hmm. very. I, I, I the best way I can describe it is claustrophobic. I felt small and uncomfortable, and I found it hard to breathe in that yeah. scene in that in that moment and then it was over really quickly and i and i kind of went <gasps> like i i, I kind of breathed again that was the only mm -hmm. time that i felt that way and i put it to a mixture yeah. of uh great atmosphere great cinematography because you couldn't really see much but overall just the sound design of the screaming the breathing of the ship like every the crushing it was all just it was all just so much to make me feel uncomfortable so that that's like the one thing that makes me feel ill is that one moment in nope mm -hmm. yeah that's like something that's really aided by the sound des sound design in there as well what what you can hear from the people i think uh, a recent film that is is about to release as well anatomy of a fall and uh, not not anatomy of the fall sorry the zone of interest with all of the background stuff that you know is going on i i, I think it's just like it really it, it's um it's something that is somehow always in the back of your mind but it didn't make me like uncomfortable the whole time through like obviously it's like harrowing but something that always gets me is like uh especially with this film each time they were like ripping off fingernails i was physically moving in my seat and had to readjust and i'm also groaning and making noises because it's 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 mm. like it's really uncomfortable for me and i don't even get that sometimes with uh saw films or at least i i didn't use it too i don't know what it is but in the last few years i'm having especially in in the theater i'm having way more uh of actual like physical responses as i'm in there maybe maybe it's the the luxury of of having uh getting to go to press screenings and usually everyone's sitting there just like a robot not really moving and i'm just in there like yeah. shifting around um but something that really gets me is also if someone's hitting on someone and it's not reciprocated that kind of secondhand cringe um that that yeah you feel play out is, is making me sometimes like i don't want to look i That's a good uh, one. and i'm watching something on streaming i often have to pause if something is really cringe and i need to collect myself um and you don't get yeah. to do that in films when you're in the, in the cinema and i think that's like sometimes i really appreciate that i will agree with that as well i didn't think about those awkward like romantic moments but yeah i do agree those romantic moments i physically go oh oh like the cringy like, oh. <laughs> yeah like it's oh god <laughs> yeah have i been in that situation before was mm -hmm. that me yeah. at one point oh, oh. it's like yeah, that's good because one. when you look at some someone in a movie and they're trying to make something happen um there's always like a way higher standard because mm. we are like there's an audience and a lot of the time it is just between the two of you uh like two people or a couple of people and when you miss you just like move on but in the cinema we are forced to kind of stick with it uh and that makes us so uncomfortable because your natural thing would just be to leave and you don't get to leave yeah. 
uh so so yeah i i also love it though like what you said uh putting myself in uncomfortable um positions sometimes is it is, is it is quite fun because you try to kind of you have to come up with kind of a solution to not make it make stuff cringe and um yeah ultimately yeah. i think it's it's good and we don't do that as much our generation because we are kind of hiding uh, a lot of the time you know we, we are we are kind of hermits in, in um compared to like some older generations <laughs>